There we go. There we go. That's that pre-release right there. That's that you don't need to get them close for a quick release. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today Devin and I are getting out on, we're going to hit two lakes today. How about that for you guys? On the boat, which we are still up in the air as far as names go. I do want to take a quick second to tell you guys, uh, go check us out over on Instagram, man. We just hit 57,000. We're thinking about doing a big giveaway at 60k so it would not take many of you guys to jump on over there give us a follow we post three times a day over on instagram keep the stories jam-packed and we try to provide you guys with instagram tips if you want to grow your page as well because we only had 1,000 followers about a year and a half ago and so we've been growing quickly we would love your support and we plan on doing a giveaway for you soon with that being said i'm about to exchange this hoodie out we're in the ac here we're about to head outdoors and today it's going to get up to like mid 80s we're hitting a trolling motor only lake to start it's going to be a lot of fun so anyways guys we're about to load up the truck go grab the boat and we are headed downtown. Three pit stops real quick. We gotta stop to get gas, gotta stop to grab a bite, and we gotta stop to get some more swim bait hooks from Academy. So uh, yeah, tag along. Next stop, y'all, Academy. Let's get these hooks. All right, y'all, fresh restock on the owner, Beast Hooks, man. We got some six lots. I was gonna grab the eights, but they didn't have them in stock. So we got two sets of the 10 aughts. That's gonna go with the new battle shad we got on order. We'll see y'all at the water. Just kidding, y'all, I forgot. We gotta grab a bite to eat. And apparently so does everybody else in the city. Chick-fil-A is always packed, man. Let's get their food. Oh boy, guys, slight delay in the timeline. We had to run back to the house because my organizational skills were not the best when I grabbed all the keys today. I happened to leave the storage lock keys at the house. So it wasted half an hour uh, that we've got to do again, which is probably gonna cut us out from doing the two lakes today because we were already on a time crunch. It's almost 1.30 in the afternoon and these lakes are both like an hour in death separate directions. So we're probably gonna have to skip out on the one we were excited to hit for the first time today that's trolling motor only, which is okay. It just means more time on a lake that we've been hitting that we're kind of getting dialed in. So let's go ahead and make our way back to storage, this time to actually get the boat out instead of just look at it and be like, oh, we don't have the key. See you, King, for the second time today. On our way back to the storage unit and checking out on the Facebook Live along with about 150,000 other people, the SpaceX launch here in about an hour. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. We'll try and get that on the camera too. The astronauts inside Dragon just making all of their final preparations close-up views of their suits and on the displays as they just are strapped in and ready for launch. All right, that's better. Launch director called out the strong back retract has started on the left. You'll see it go back just a couple of degrees. Decided to stop in for some Starbucks coffee now that we got a little extra time not hitting two lakes and now we're about to watch this launch, man. Y'all, Devin got us two of the new ones. Check that out. Okay. Yo, the moment you have all been waiting for. I don't know how long this vlog is already before we start fishing, but we are at the ramp, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get this boat into the water. Time to enjoy this Chick-fil-A. Mm. Oh, no wonder people don't take the boats out here, do they? Skeptical of all this grass right here. You need to be above it. Just like right on the head. Oh, diver. Do I? I got a fish! Yes! First one of the day! Oh, the swim jig! Looks like a rockfish. I think it's a warhead. Y'all, what is this fish I just caught? All right, first fish of the day. I don't know how long it's been. Hours. All right, man. I'm contemplating putting them in the live well. I hear it's bad luck if you don't throw your first five fish in there, so. <laughs> Be free, little guy. I don't know what you are, but I'm sure everyone's gonna tell me I'm an idiot and uh, let me know. Wait, how do you not know it's this species? You, YouTube, you got, yeah. What the hell? Drinking White Claws, at least take a guess. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see all the live scopes. Ooh, this looks good. Shade. Y'all, hit this up over here. Got to be. There ain't no shade in this lake. Don't even, dude. Oh, you had a good one and hit my Reeboks. <laughs> he was way up in there, huh? Yeah, he was, he was, he was. 
Dude, he was past the reeds. That's a big dude. We're right on him. Dude, just over here, Torrance. If you want to come up here too. They're in this grass. Oh, is that you? Yep, that's me. Oh, there's some fish right in front of the boat. Torrance just got one. Black and blue or natural? He's making the video over here. What else we got in the reeds over here? Look at this shade line too. How could there not be one like right here? This is just... All right, let me find the grass with the swim jig, then I'll bust out the... Big guns. Oh. There we go. There we go. That's that pre-release right there. Swim jig. Monday through Sunday, yo. I, oh, yep, yep. Okay, they're in the grass, boys. Oh, okay. Nope. All right, we got them. We found them, we found them. Yes, all right. No fish all day, then two fish in two minutes. Meanwhile, Torrance is trying to learn how to cast. <laughs> it's a joke. Torrance honestly is a better fisher than, uh, fisherman than me. Here's what we're gonna do. The live well's on auto, and I don't wanna let you guys down. So even if this guy is only a pound, you drained it? It's not on All auto, right. you need to put it back. All right, he's going in the well, boys. Cause uh, he's huge. Oh, swim jig for the win. What are you in my spot for? What? No, you were over there. I guess so. Oh my lord, did you see that fish jump? No. Right like 10 feet past that. Oh, oh f you. He just smashed a crankbait rod. Only good for swim jigs if you're actually swimming it. This is what's getting all my bites of the day, basically. They call it the rotten pumpkin. I call it the live well stalker. All right, yeah, we need to we need to move a little bit further, I think. All right, Where starting the prop. Oh, I think they are. I think it's just we had them pinpointed, and I think they have moved. That's that's fish. That's that's fish. Oh my lord! This flimsy rod. I'm about to. I just threw that saucy swimmer for a minute. I'm telling you, this little bluegill pattern. Yeah, they like that little pop of orange or something tonight. Oh, you have them. You have them, right? No. Dang. You saw that, though. No, I, I saw oh. wait when you said it, and then it like, just didn't hook them. Can I get in here, babe? I want to grab that last swim jig. Yeah, I think that last one that I missed where the rod really loaded up was actually pretty good. Oh. Okay. Come on. On the, fall? on the fall. Didn't even swim it at all. Just cast it. What do we have here? I think it's light. Oh, what is it? Oh my God, what is it? Oh, it's huge. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's got a little grass. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> right when it hit the water. I didn't know what I was working with. That's a big mouth right there. You, he didn't fight at all. Oh, she's post spawn. Wow, that's what we're talking about. Heck yeah, all right. Oh, oh no, guys, look. Mama has been torn up. That wasn't me, because my hook is way over here. Oh, dang. Oh, I was just thinking, keep cranking. I've been watching all these videos lately, dudes, about how fish don't fight at first, and then they get to the boat, and then all of a sudden they're like, nope, and they end up being like four, five, six, seven pounds. So, let's get you in the live, little girl. Hang out with your friend. That's two. That's two. Swim jig, man. In case y'all want to know what has been getting all the bites tonight, it is the Rotten Pumpkin Swim Jig, man. This is that Guggen Squad Swim Jig. So sick. Uh, three eighths ounce. I like them to be a little heavy like this. The half ounce, they sell out so fast. I've been trying to get some of those too. But three eighths is good. I like it more than a quarter because it sinks down and I like to pop and reel at the same time. And although I hadn't even worked it at all that time, the uh, heavier weight allows you to kind of stay down in the grass in the strike zone as you're kind of popping it as actively as I am. I kind of like to work them quick. When you kind of, when you kind of pop and reel at the same time, it gives it that good pop in action. You pop that skirt, you work through the grass, you're shaking the grass off. It does a lot of stuff for you. Are we not spot locked anymore? You hit a button. 
And, uh, so y'all get you some Guggen Squat Swim Jigs for 15% off with my code down in the description. That's all you gotta know, you'll catch some fish. Also, this is the Magic Shad color of the Saucy Swimmer, 3.3 inch. I love the, pairing the 3.3 inch Saucy Swimmers with these swim jigs. It just works, man, don't even question it. I wouldn't even worry about the bigger sizes if you're pairing it up with these swim jigs, it just goes so perfectly and you will be catching the bass, man. Uh, yeah, this color is a Guggen HQ exclusive, so if you order online, just get another natural color and it will work for you, man. Let's get some more fish. Gotcha. No way. Nice. Nice. You stay on. Nope, nope. You are little bitty and I don't care. I'm just gonna skim you. I'm just skimming you. You are perfect, well sized. I don't even care. Oh my gosh. Come here. That was on the Nico. I am so happy. Yeah? Oh my goodness. On the Torrance and I are doubled up. Guy. These guys, I don't even care. This is my first and only bass so far of the day. It has been a grind, y'all. It might be starting to pick up. Let's go ahead, get him in the live well, and get some more fish. Sunset double up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, real, real, real. Maybe. Oh, wow. Is it bigger than half a pound? Potentially. No, that rod's not even bending. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a fight, damn it. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> not the big ones. Because, well, now this pole's even shorter because it's the one I broke. Oh, coming up a little short. <laughs> right in the rear. Oh, oh. Oh, he's light as can be. I don't even know if I have him on. <laughs> oh my god, that's number five. God, we are on fire. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Top five. Sickest lake ever. <laughs> Top five. Here, take us to the right just a hair. Just a little touch. A little touch. Oh, that's the spot. Oh, huge. We're in them. I done told y'all. Time and time again. <laughs> Live well is getting upgraded, boys. This is going to make top five for sure. Swim jig. You go ahead and just have yourself a fine evening. Live target. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in them. Woo! Yeah, right, get them up. That's where I was actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's that audible cue. <laughs> Swim bait. <laughs> They're munching, boys. See you, bud. Y'all, light is fading fast. We're gonna have to split here in just a second, but we wanna go ahead and release our top five. We are pros, man. I think we probably got five pounds in here. Oh yeah. Like combined, yeah. combined total five pounds. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm talking about lightweight, heavyweight class, man. We pulling them out tonight. That is a go. Let's get these homies back in the water and uh, we'll call it quits for the evening. See you, kiddos. Y'all have a good night. Dang, they're all chilling. <laughs> what a night, man. Well, not the biggest fish, but we had a lot of fun. <gasps>